Okay, let's take a look at uh, the graphical method of vector addition. Notice that I've written a scale up here, one centimeter to one newton. The first thing you have to do when you're going to represent, uh, when you're going to add vectors graphically, is you have to represent them. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, grab my protractor and bring it over here, and I'm going to sketch in vector A, which should be at 30 degrees. So let me go ahead and make this mark right here. And uh, when I move the protractor over, I need to then bring over my ruler. Let's go ahead and assume, of course, that this ruler is uh, set so that it's in a centimeter scale. Uh, so therefore, it should be five centimeters long since it's five newtons. So let me go ahead and uh, sketch that in. So I'm going to draw from the origin roughly uh, at 30 degrees there, five um, centimeters long. So now I've uh, drawn in vector A. I could label it if I want to, uh, which I'll go ahead and do here. So now I've drawn in vector A. And I need to do the same thing with vector B. So I could bring my pro protractor back into the, uh, into the game here, mark off 110 degrees. Of course, that's going to be here in the second quadrant. So I'll take a look at 110 degrees. I've marked my protractor, and uh, now I can move it back. I'll go ahead and bring in my uh, ruler again. Um, I need to set it up so that it's reading, um, <clears throat> it's lined up at about 110 degrees. And this time I'm only going to make it 3.4 units long uh, because that's the length of the vector that I should be representing. So I bring it up here to 3.4 uh, and uh, I've got it lined up and I'm happy with that. So now I've represented both vector A and vector B graphically. I'm going to go ahead and label this as vector B. <clears throat> so uh, if I were to write some steps out, I'll write them over here on the side. Uh, step number one would be to uh, draw uh, your vectors, uh, of course, graphically. Step number two is going to be to make a copy of each uh, vector. This is actually called the parallelogram method. So I'm going to uh, use this little clone tool and basically make a copy of B. But notice that it has to be completely parallel to my original uh, vector B. And I'm going to label this as B prime, or basically my copy of vector B. And notice that I've placed it uh, right here at the tail of vector A. So I've moved it, and I've kind of made this parallelogram, and I'm going to do the same thing with vector A. So I'm going to basically take this copy of A right here and slide it so that it's going to the end uh, right there. And I can label that vector A prime. This is called the parallelogram method. And ultimately, my resultant will be found by drawing a uh, line that starts at the origin or the beginning of both vectors and goes across the diagonal of that parallelogram and meets up with the tail end of both copies of the vectors, or in this case, what I've called A prime and B prime. This uh, new ray that I've drawn is what we're going to call our resultant, or we can label it R hat. So uh, technically speaking, we're saying that a, vector A, plus vector B is equal to our resultant R. And uh, <clears throat> I can now use my protractor and my ruler to measure the direction and the magnitude of the vector. So let me go ahead and bring this ruler in. I want to kind of line it up here so that uh, it's parallel to that vector. And it looks like it's about just over six units uh, looks like just over six units long. I'm going to call that 6.1 newtons. And then I'm going to use the protractor to find the angle. I know it's going to be less than 90 degrees uh, because it's in the first quadrant. And it looks to me like it's about 66 degrees. So I'm going to say then that my resultant is equal to 6.1 newtons, comma, 66 degrees. And that would be my final answer for full credit uh, because it expresses the uh, resultant in both magnitude and direction. That's basically the graphical method of vector addition.